GT3 Cup Challenge is a six weekend series. They're full spec Carrera Cup cars as raced right through the last decade. They're very, very quick. They take a lot of driving. They're noisy, they're loud. You get so much acceleration from them, so much grip. The handling ability, the reliability. They're very powerful. You do feel the car through the seat of your pants. It's just an extremely fun car to go and drive. We're at Silverstone today. For me, it's the first time I've been back in the car since October, so it's a bit of a shakedown opportunity before some proper testing gets underway next week. The type of people attracted to GT3 Cup Challenge could be people stepping up from track days. It's a little less pressure, a little less competitive than Carrera Cup, so it's a great starting point. It could suit younger drivers coming in who want to get some experience in this type of car, perhaps before stepping up to Carrera Cup. And for perhaps gentlemen racers who want to race a nice car at a good level, they come and enjoy their weekends. There's a series of 40 somethings like myself in there. We've got a couple of young lads as well in the series. Um, so that'll be interesting to see the mix between old and uh, old and young. Yeah, the cars are equal. There's kind of realistically, there's not much you can do to it on setup, which means it is easy to set up. And also it means the races will be competitive because the cars will be very similar and um, all going to be very close the whole season, I think, really. And it goes from Dunnington to Snetterton to Rockingham. So it's, it's, it's basically just a, a complete tour of the UK. It's less of a time and money commitment than doing Carrera Cup, so it makes it very accessible. The budgets are significantly less, but it's still a chance to drive a fantastic car at, at pretty good value in motor racing terms. In terms of picking up one of these cars for the sort of price you can pick them up now, and a proper GT car, it's built from the ground up as a GT car, it's not a converted road car it should make for some good competitive racing. Because it's only run over two, two days, you know, it's not as time consuming. There's only six rounds as well. Before you sort of make that step to Carrera Cup, it's a good, you know, it's a good entry. To be in the same paddock as the Carrera Cup boys is great and as a possible stepping stone into Carrera Cup, it's a great series. Yeah, last year I did the GT3 Cup Challenge, the smaller championship to the Carrera Cup, and we won that. Uh, driver of the year, so the GT3 Cup Challenge is fantastic, you know, because you, you learn the ropes and then you jump into something that's a bit quicker, it's not such a diving in at the deep end sort of thing if you like, it's, uh, it's a fantastic way just to do that and then go into this, it's not such a shock to the system. Being part of British Touring Cars, the atmosphere, live TV, it's all good stuff. It's just a really fun, good, challenging as well car to drive, which is, as a race car driver, exactly what I want. It gets me the opportunity to get out on a, on a purpose-built race car on a very good track and do what it is that we all like to do, drive cars fast. Yeah. There just doesn't seem anything like a Porsche. It was the only name really that, that I was up for. It's just the ultimate buzz for a guy like me. I only started racing two and a half years ago, so the opportunity to do something like this is, is spectacular.